Hi everyone, it's Jessica and welcome back to my channel. As you saw from the title, I'll be showing some lettuce seedling growth from a couple months ago and comparing the lettuce grown in my hydroponic system to ones grown in soil. This was taken back when I was just beginning to get into hydroponics, so I was still getting a hang of what did and didn't work. I've improved a lot since then, so along with the experiment, I also want to share some of the mistakes I made and what I learned, so you can hopefully avoid them yourselves. With that, let's get started. I feel like this experiment might be a little confusing if you don't know what my goal is, so I just want to give a quick outline. Basically I want to test the rate of lettuce growth using different soil and hydroponic methods. I'll start with one big group of seeds, and then once they become sprouts, I'm going to split them into three groups. One that will be my hydroponic system group, one that will be my soil group, and one that will be a mixture of both, so it'll start off in soil and then it'll transition to my hydroponic system. And then after a few weeks, I'll compare them to one another and I'll share my findings. Now that you have a better understanding of my experiment, we can actually start. For those who don't know, germination refers to the development of a plant from a seed or spore after a period of dormancy. This was the first thing I needed to do in this experiment. My seedlings needed to sprout a little before I could actually separate them into two groups and transfer them into either the soil or my hydroponic system. I decided to use paper towel germination for two main reasons. One, most seeds germinate much quicker in this system than in soil because it's an environment you have much greater control over since you can adjust conditions like the heat, moisture, light, etc. that the seedlings receive. And two, you can actually observe your seedlings, see how they progress, and be able to know really quickly if they're going correctly, or if there's an issue you need to address, or even if you need to start again. Pretty simply, the basic premise of paper towel germination is that you're creating a closed system that will replicate the greenhouse effect. Now that I've told you why I'm germinating this way, we can move on to the actual steps of doing so. All you need are paper towels and a closed container which can be a plastic food container to a Ziploc bag or to what I'm using, which is a seed growing tray. If it can be sealed and let in light, it'll probably work. All I did was line the bottom of the container with a few dampened, folded up paper towels, place my seeds on top a few inches away from each other, close up my container and set it near somewhere warm with sunlight. Every day I documented the growth and spritz the seeds with water if needed. Lettuce seeds only take a few days to see growth, and it was on day three that I realized I'd made my first mistake. As day four and five passed, the problem became more clear. As you can see, the lettuce seeds were sprouting, but they were becoming incredibly leggy, meaning they were basically all stem and very little leaves. I learned that this was the result of the seedlings not having enough access to light, and they were stretching and bending in search of more sunlight. So I started a new batch of seedlings and placed them under LED lights. You can see that in comparison to the previous group, they appear to be doing much better in the same amount of time. After my seeds had started sprouting a little, I transferred them all into soil. Now this might seem a little unintuitive at first because aren't I supposed to be separating them into the three groups and giving them different treatments? Well, not quite yet. I wanted them to develop as sprouts and grow out their roots a little more before I moved them into drastically different environments. Skipping this step would have resulted in a scenario where the hydroponics group would be at a severe disadvantage, since seedlings would not be supported in the clay medium very well and would either totally drown in the water or not receive any at all because of how small they are and how unprecise the water levels can be calculated to. After two weeks in the soil, I was ready to split them into the three groups. As a reminder, these are the different conditions. You'll see that I moved a third of the sprouts to my hydroponic system up in the front. If you're new to my channel and haven't seen my previous hydroponics videos, how it works is that a bell siphon inside the pipes controls the water levels. This time lapse should help visualize what I mean. The pipe fills with water and when it reaches a certain height within the siphon, the siphon will start flushing out that water. The water level will drop until the oxygen enters the bell siphon again. Then it stops and the water level rises again, repeating the process. If this is still a little confusing, I have a better explanation in my automatic bell siphon video, 
which you can check out. But basically, all you really need to know is that this is what allows the plants in the hydroponic system group to get enough nutrient-filled water and oxygen. After almost two weeks, I decided to move the soil group to a larger garden space to continue growing and move the soil and hydroponics combination group into the hydroponic system across from my hydroponics only group. I took some progress pictures while I was transferring them. These images are from the hydroponics group. As you can see, the roots were looking really healthy and had started growing out. This picture was one of the soil group right before I planted them. The roots aren't as easy to see here because of the soil, but they were also looking quite healthy. I let the lettuce grow, and at some point during the weeks, I solved another smaller mistake. I'm not sure if you caught the problem in the photos, but some of the leaves in my hydroponics lettuce were turning a bit yellow. This is caused by water issues. Either too little or too much water would have this effect on plants. In my case, this would be too much water. Because I had so much control within a hydroponic system though, it was incredibly easy to fix. I just shortened the height of the inner pipe of my bell siphon so that the water level height would be lower. So at this point we've seen some growth and changes over the weeks and we can now get into the actual results. Unfortunately when I was doing this experiment and taking photos, I decided not to dig out the lettuce growing in the soil because they were the smallest growing ones at the time and they didn't really compare at all to the hydroponics only lettuce and the soil hydroponics combination lettuce. In hindsight I think I should have dug them out because even though they were the smallest and didn't compare that much and we also wouldn't have been able to compare the roots that accurately, seeing the lettuce head sizes next to one another would have been nice. For the actual side by side comparisons though between the other two groups, on the right is always the hydroponics only group and on the left is always the soil hydroponics combination group. I tried to match up the comparisons by size so the largest lettuce heads from each group were compared to one another and the smallest ones from each group were compared to one another. As you can see, root length doesn't always equate to more lettuce leaves or greater lettuce head size. I found that the hydroponics only group generally had thicker, shorter roots and that was more commonly found with the larger lettuce heads while the roots that were longer and thinner were more commonly found with the hydroponic soil combination group and the lettuce heads of those were slightly smaller. A quick disclaimer before I get into my final rankings and conclusions. Obviously there are some factors outside of my control that probably affected the results of this experiment. While the lettuce grown in soil and in my hydroponic system were outside together and in the same general area of my backyard, the lettuce grown in soil would have been more exposed and vulnerable to animals and insects on the ground. Um, but with that said, here are my final rankings which you can probably already predict. In first we have the hydroponics only group. I think this group showed the best growth and grew most quickly and effectively, and the quick transition from the soil as little seedlings to the hydroponic system allowed for the plants to adapt very quickly and get used to the environment very well. In second place is the soil hydroponics combination group. Uh, this group showed good growth, but I think that the slower transition from soil to the hydroponic system actually hurt the lettuce um, because they were getting used to growing in dirt, um, when they were suddenly placed into a new environment and had to learn how to adapt more quickly, so that definitely hurt them. And then finally, the third group was the dirt group. This one was very obviously in last place from observation, although as I said before, unfortunately, I did not take many photos uh, to show side-by-side -side comparisons. I hope you enjoyed this hydroponics experiment video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any video ideas for me in the future, let me know down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!